Howdy folks, Nathan here for TFL Off-Road and I'm at the Off-Grid Expo in Colorado and this, this is the Black Series trailer and camper van and caravan series. Series, that's right, several different vehicles. We're gonna take you around these vehicles really quick, show you a couple cool features, but the main thing is that these vehicles are built for off-roading, serious off-roading, and we'll get to that in one second. Come on, let's have a look. This is one of their lower level, entry level vehicles, so to speak, it's a tent trailer. And what you have here is something that can go off-road in a serious way. But it also has an outside kitchen. Look at that, slides out. Nifty little setup here with the three burner stove. Let's look over here, inside. Really simple and basic, however, enough to hold six people without a problem. Now it does come with a portable toilet, a portable shower, solar panels, so you can live off the grid and charge your battery. It does have a uh, marine style battery. It has these massive slide outs. All this comes with the vehicle, by the way. I was talking about that shower earlier. But here's the cool stuff. Have you ever seen a hitch like this before? Isn't this cool? This is built specifically for off-roading. And what's cool about it is, in the United States, we do not require this, but overseas they do. That's an emergency brake. Isn't that great? Pull it up, and you actually don't have to worry about chalking up, although it's still a good idea to do it for safety. Let me show you this actually over here. Come on. This is the complete hitch, and this is where you'd put your ball right over here. Look at that. I haven't used one of these yet, neither has Andre, so we're looking forward to getting our hands on one of these. Now that we're over here, you may be able to see the other part of these trailers that I consider extraordinary. Andre, can we go underneath, you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me go from the front. Yeah, you can see it better over there. And ease your way down. There we go. Look at that. That is an independent suspension. Each, each side can handle 10,000 pounds per wheel. 14 inches of ground clearance, even more on the larger vehicles, which you will see in a moment. That's pretty crazy. Isn't, <laughs> isn't that crazy? Now, real quickly, for those of you who are into tent trailers, I want to know how this works. It's not your regular tent trailer that you crank and you have metal poles that lift it up. You actually use these straps. This strap goes over here. To this hook and you lift it up halfway. Then you unwind here to let it down. And then you do the vice versa to get it up. It's simple, it's basic, and it doesn't require those metal rods, which I cannot stand. Let me show you something else. Let's say you want a smaller trailer, but you want a little bit more space. Well, hold on a second, let me show it from the outside just really quick, because this looks like a house. Isn't this cool? Okay. Their base model trailer, which locals are selling for around 17, starts with this. So it's a much smaller trailer than the one I just showed you, but it still has the off-road package. It still has the heavy-duty construction, it has this queen-size bed up here, but then you can connect to this. Oh, this is an all, come on. So it starts at 17 and then a couple add-ons? <laughs> yeah, you think so, right? 17,000. This is the back of the trailer. This is actually the, the rear section. And this, if I folded this all the way, I could actually close this and this closes into there. This is where the sink is and you can get an option for a stove, but it does have propane so you can use your own stove. So this is where it all starts. But I just keep, thinking about this big room, and I realize it's bigger than our TFL office. <laughs> All right. That's crazy. I know, right? Come on, let's check out the next one. Now, Andre and I are both interested in this one because it sort of combines 
two different worlds. It has a pop-up, but it's more of a caravan. Come here. Look at this. Ta-da! Very cool, dude. I have enough headroom. Yeah, see? Even Andre fits in here. And he's like 6'2 and something. And he's got hair. But there's a bunk up here. This actually has the biggest bed out of all of the caravans that are out here because that's a slide out in the back. So this gives you lots of space. King size. Still has that heavy duty suspension. The thing that I really care about with this, but it also has bathroom. Nice. And a shower. Uh-huh. Little sink. Yep. And this is, the, this is the part that kind of pops up is up here. That's correct. Kind of this upper section. Andre had a camper that did something similar in the a past. Truck camper. Yeah, a yeah, truck yeah. camper. Yeah, yeah. But this is obviously a little bit more high end. And you have an outdoor kitchen. There's no indoor kitchen on this vehicle. Once again, this is another image of uh, what this looks like from the outside. I'll show you that in a second. Um, let, let, me, let me show the outside. Absolutely. Check it out. There's also the Medic cooler fridge here in the front section. It's included in the pricing. Uh, we don't know exactly what this one particular no, one. Actually, we do. Uh, the now this is a local price for a local dealership, so it's not the MSRP, but this one is selling at thirty-four thousand nine hundred and seventy-five dollars. Okay, and everything included here. So right. Let me show that awning also. Storage area in here in the front. Very cool, you can see the slide out right there. That's right. Now, uh, a couple things to know about Black Series campers. The actual camper itself, the square section, is built in China, and they ship it over to the United States to the city of industry where Black Series are built. They do all the final construction there, and that includes all the components underneath and everything you see inside. So, hopefully- That's in California, That right? is in California. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and then they're kind of shipped around, right? That is correct. Now, let's finish here. All right, well, let me get a view of this. It's HQ19. That, that is a that, big that boy, isn't it? That cool, right? Yeah. Bear in mind, there's like five others right over there, uh, and they have a variety of different levels to them, including this one next to me. This one is popular with the Australians because it is basically a caravan that they would use, including having a cassette toilet in there. Apparently, Australians love cassette toilets in the Outback, and you can ask Andre about that because he was just in Australia. I don't know much about that. Come caravan. on. Come on. All right, so. Well, let's, let's look at the kitchen really quick. Now, this is the outdoor kitchen. It has an indoor and outdoor kitchen. It's crazy. So, three burner stove. Okay, sink. All right, nice. All right, let's see inside. There's a queen size bed, all LED lighting, all of the surfaces are pretty high end. Yeah, it looks really shiny. There's, they have these kind of German style latches, kind of like a boat would have, right? Yeah, to prevent things from flying out when you're bouncing around off road. Now, this is a much heavier trailer, obviously. This one weighs... Well, I think it it's around 6,000 pounds. Around 6,000 kind of pounds. You see it, and it can hold up to 10,000 total weight. So, uh, trailer and stuff. Yeah, and a lot of stuff. Now, there's another version of this trailer that's a little bit shorter, actually, but it has bunks in the back, so there's more sleeping space available. This one has the queen-size bed, and then this converts into a bed as well. It's really cool, and for you tech geeks, I want to show you one thing that's really neat. All right. These are the fuses, and what I really love about that is that they actually activate and pop out individually when something goes wrong. And in the Outback, that happens a lot. So having this, which is much more of a marine style than the crappy little car fuses that a lot of people use, you know what I'm talking about, the flat ones? That's really cool. The display, <laughs> that's actually pretty neat. I, I just kind of, I, I like the fact that it's there and it is so well laid out. Yeah, and most of, all of these trailers, Black Series, have solar panels on the roof or some sort of solar capability. Ooh. They have batteries. Where'd you go? Dude, this shower is huge for an RV. But I for mean, a smaller a... trailer. Well, I, mean, I mean, this is a 19-footer. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So, 
That's really neat too. Let's see, me and then. Oh, see, I'm gonna leave you alone. Right I'm gonna there. leave. I didn't say anything. By I, the way, that is a washing machine. It's a washing machine. <laughs> and the final MSRP, or actually the no, local no. pricing. This is local pricing. Local pricing. Let me show you guys. Show you guys. About fifty-five, fifty-four, nine fifty. So yeah. for what you get, oh, we need to go outside and show them the suspension on this one because it's oh, a dual axle. It's crazy. Actually, let's have a look at that. And that's actually why I wanted to look at these trailers and, and Andre as well, because they are so off-road ready. So let's go outside and have a look. And also we can see the bunk uh, house uh, after that. Sure, let's look at that too. By the way, rock sliders. <laughs> rock sliders on the side. Two spare tires. These fold down. And here's kind of what I wanted to show you guys also. Look at how insanely big these suspension components are. Two shocks per side. There's a chain up there to prevent it from extending too far. I guess if you jump this trailer, uh, that could help you out. And like Nathan said, 10,000 pounds of uh, capacity per wheel. I mean, it's pretty insane. I imagine it's kind of a soft ride, and you need a softer ride because if you're bouncing on a dirt road, you want to have good suspension, right? Hell yeah. All right, let's wrap this up. We got to look at a couple others. Just we'll, we'll do an orbit here. As okay. I said, they had a bunch of them. Let's see the bunkhouse. That's this one here. So you still get queen size bed, get this table, and then, and I especially like this and so does Andre because we have children, put the kids over here on the other side of the RV. Wait a minute, it looks like shelves, it's great. Isn't this great? No, I mean, I've seen other bunks that look like this, but this is nice. And look, they even have a little TV. Wow, what, what else do you need? Spoiled rotten kids, I say. Well, let's show this. This is kind of a different configuration, right? Right, I mean, this is, you know, it's a little smaller than the other one. Well, also this is a combined unit, as yeah, opposed yeah, to that yeah. one was a separate shower and toilet. But you have all the other amenities in here. Uh, this one is slightly less expensive and slightly smaller. It's still 10,000 pound total weight capacity, right? Yep. There we go. So local pricing, $51,670. And this is the HQ-17. Right. 5,500 pounds, basically. So that is, it's a lighter trailer. This is the, probably the one I would get because bunks, uh, if I had this type of money and my wife actually allowed me to buy one. Guys, thank you so much for joining me, TFL Off-Road. This is something that hopefully we'll be able to get our hands on one of these days and test it out because I'd love to try towing one of these behind one of our vehicles. See you next time.